Final Fantasy XIV Online. So you were looking to switch your moves, your spells, change your hotbar, whatever you would like to call it. Well, stick with me because I'm about to teach you how to do that. Hello, my wolf pack. Thank you all for watching. Yes, I am going to teach you how to change that. So not to flex or anything, wah, wah, but I had to put that emote in there. Anyway, so follow me and I will teach you how to change your spells, your emotes, your moves, whatever on your hotbar. You have all these different actions and roll actions, if that makes sense. Roll actions is what we'll call those because they're moves also. Uh, those are shared, but you put on the soul crystal, whatever it is. In this instance, I'm showing you the soul of the bard and you're all excited and then you look down at your hot bar and you're like, no, what did they do? Well, what they did is they put them all in the order of what they would have been received in. Like, let's say level one, level four, you get what I'm saying? So you're gonna press R1 and then you're gonna hit the edit pad button. And here it brings up the edit, the hot bar. Whee, yes, all right. So you then like the triangle button, the first one. You want to delete that? Yes, no, maybe, hmm, let me think about that. All right, so then you go and try it again. Just go on your character, put me on your tablet, put this on your phone and watch. You can go along with me. You would then X button. Yes, no, remove it. What I like to do is I like to clear everything off the hot bar after I received a soul of like this instance, the bard and have a blank slate and then put each thing in one by one as I like to have it. Uh, and this is how you would do that. Then after cle clearing it out or not, you would press the square button on your controller and, and then you would set it to the hot bar. Once you have it, you would put it in the slot that you want it. So you press the square button and then you would press, uh, you know, R, the R1 and uh, you know, up on the D-pad, down on the D-pad, X, O, whatever. Wherever you want it is where you would then put it. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm pretty sure that should make sense. <laughs> and so you have your regular class moves, your job moves. And again, that's where if you look, it says where I said each le each one that you would get at level one, etc. that's where they put it on your hotbar. It's just like a default setting. So... Here we are, and you have eight. Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hot bars. Full hot bars. Eight different sets that you can put those on. So what I like to do is there's ones that you share with your other jobs, and there's ones that you don't. I put my emotes on one that I would share with other jobs. That way I only have to set my emotes once. Um, if you want to look for my video, I actually teach you how to set up your HUD or your hot bars um, as far as like your user interface or settings and things like that. So check that video out too. Hopefully now you're able to switch things up and yes, it's a pain in the butt and however many jobs or classes you open, it will happen that many times. But you know what? You can be everything with one character. And in this game, the player matters. So don't fret because I have your back. Take care. You can dance, be happy. Woohoo! You changed your hot bars. Hit subscribe, hit like, and be alerted. Have a great weekend. Take care of my wolf pack until next time.